want to take a minute and show you how I created this solar tracking stand uh, out of a couple of water bottles. Got some ideas from some other YouTube videos that I found and this is what I was able to come up with as a neat low-tech way to have a tracking system. Started out with this 25 watt solar panel which I got from Amazon but a tracking system can get as much as 30 percent more out of your solar panel. So I wanted to try a tracking system. The problem is the way I had it mounted here on this wood would not have worked because um, the weight of it would be off. This shows the specs of it from Amazon. A uh, piece of foam board over it. I taped it on there just to protect the front of the solar panel. So that's helpful. The other thing is I made these little brackets, as you can see here, and I just drilled little hole in the back of the frame here. I just bent this little bracket. You could buy a bracket if you needed to. I just bent it, you know. But those are going to be important for getting the balance right. Also, I balanced it by just setting it on, you could set it on a couple of pencils on a board and then just balance it out to see. Okay, we're starting to come together. These are um, going to be the legs. And what's going to happen is this is going to be up like this. And the panel, it's important that these are a little higher so that when they connect here, when they connect and there'll be a screw through there, it'll kind of hang down a little bit. That way its normal position will be hanging down and not flopping over. You'll see what I mean. Now I'm going to drill through the hole right here. That hole is done. Alright, All right. this is probably way overkill for this tiny little solar panel, but 2x4s are cheap and uh, rugged. And so that's what I wound up doing. Basically, if you'll notice, what I have right here is the most important thing. And that is how these are connected. The reason that's so important, and by the way, you can just use a regular screw up. Since the mounting bracket drops the panel down some from the hinge, its normal resting place wants to be perpendicular, and that's how I want it. I don't want it flipping over. This is a really lightweight frame. It's made of aluminum. And so I drilled a little hole, and I put a very thin, small zip tie through there. The thought being that if something were to happen, uh, the zip tie would break before it would start to bend the aluminum. This actually would be a pretty decent setup even if I weren't going to make it into a tracking system. It's easily adjustable. It's good and rugged. For the plumbing system, I basically just drilled a quarter inch hole in the top of a Gatorade bottle and got this quarter inch tubing from Lowe's and uh, just kind of cut the tubing diagonally and forced it in through the hole. It was a little bit bigger than the hole. And so I started out at Lowe's with this little quarter inch uh, irrigation line tubing that you can get. The little valve at the bottom is a drip irrigation, it's adjustable, and it works pretty good. They're pretty cheap. And uh, then I have the water bottle full. Up at the top, I've got a zip tie to hold on a little wire that it serves as a hook. And in the bottom of the jug is a hole that I drilled in order to let air in so that uh, so it could drip. And so now it should be facing the sun, ready for the sun to come up. And then uh, after about, mm, at this time of year, about six hours, it should be perpendicular to the ground and after another six hours follow the sun on down to setting. And so the challenge is getting the drip rate correct so that it uh, goes at the right speed and after a little monkeying around with it you ought to be able to figure it out. This water bottle on the right is half full of water and then the other one started out full and so it's holding it down pointing it towards the sun and if I can get the right drip rate uh, after about six hours, it should be perpendicular and then another six hours setting towards the sun. Once that bottle is empty, uh, it'll go all the way down, uh, in this case, to the right. And here's a quick Bible verse. It says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. I'm hoping to do a part two where I automate the water filling process. Bye. Thank you.